Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing so very well. Today I am going to be putting UK covers versus US covers to the test to see who wins. This is my second time doing this so if you wanted to see who won on the first round I will leave that linked somewhere but let's get into this and see what covers I prefer. UK or US? The first book I have here is Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney and this is going to be the UK side and this is going to be the US side and for the UK side we have a kind of grey scale cover with black edges. The rose gold font I really enjoy. I think that it stands out with the pink writing and the sort of darkness of the cover and the kind of paper people are really interesting. Marriage can be murder is like the tagline on this one and I think it does it does go really well with the with the story. I have read this one and I do enjoy the font in this. I think the font in this one definitely beats out the font in the US one. The US one is just like a overshot view of a snowy bank with a house in the middle and then the red font. I do like this. I think the the background is like really well done because it goes with the story quite well. I like the overview shot but I just I don't know what it is. I kind of wanted the font to maybe be a different colour or I don't know like I feel like the font is really lacking in the US one whereas the font in the UK one really stands out. The cover isn't as nice like the not the cover but the picture of the like two paper people isn't as nice as the shot from above of the snowy bank and I do think the snowy bank one goes with the story a lot more because this is essentially where the story takes place 90% of the time. I don't know I, this is a hard one I like them both for different reasons I like the shot on the US one but I like the font and colours of the UK one but the US one goes with the story a bit more. This is difficult. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the US one just because it goes with the story. I understand from the story that like if I hadn't read the story I would probably pick the UK one but because I've read the story and know it I'm gonna go US because I feel like it just fits better and I do like the overhead shot. I just wish that the font was a bit different or maybe a different colour but it makes sense to be red because like it is a murder mystery so I'm gonna go with the US on this one just because it lines up with the story so very well. The next book I have here is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. This is the UK edition and this is the US edition and I'm gonna put a picture so I don't have to hold this but I have read this. I do own this and I can say straight away that I enjoy the US cover more. I I do enjoy the UK cover like the Eiffel Tower coming through on the shadows of the doorway and just the font on top. I do enjoy this but I originally seen the US cover and the grayscale apartment like building with the pink font stands out so well and I think if I was to see both of these in the store I would gravitate more towards the US cover just because it catches my eye more with the pink font and because I've read the story I know it takes place in a elite Parisian apartment complex and this background in the US edition just screams this apartment like this is what I imagine it would look like from the outside so that and the fact that it's so dark and gloomy really sets off the story because the like whole mystery surrounding this complex and the people that's in it makes it very dark and then the splash of colour with the pink just like is eye-catching whereas the UK one is kind of boring like I do like the fact that the Eiffel Tower comes out of the doorway but apart from that that's like the only thing that it's got and I feel like it would have been better to like maybe have a bit more on this cover it's sleek don't get me wrong but and it makes sense because the door like leads to Paris and that's where Jess goes but like I just think that 
it could have done with a bit more uh, there's more going on in the us cover it's more eye-catching and i just enjoy it more i enjoy the us cover so again we're gonna go with the us cover because i just feel like it's done better i feel like i normally enjoy the uk covers of things quite a lot it's not really something that bothers me huge amounts there have been covers that have came out in us editions that i've been like dying to get my hands on but apart from a few i kind of normally prefer the uk covers but maybe it's because i haven't compared them side by side enough to really see if it's actually just because they're more readily available to me and that's why i just enjoy them more or if it's because i haven't seen the us covers of some of these i don't know but the next book i have here is the hating game by sally thorne and this is the uk cover this is the us cover i seen the us cover first for this because i got this recommendation off of booktube and it wasn't a uk based booktuber so yeah like i seen the us cover first and i did enjoy it but i do think i enjoy the uk cover more take away the stupid like film sticker because i hate the fact that they do that now like i enjoyed this like you've got the two characters sitting at a desk and the scribbles above them are silly i feel like it could have done without that but the font is like the font is interesting because it's different fonts for each word and the tagline he's the one she loves to hate makes it like interesting you can tell that it's an office romance straight off the bat because they're sitting at desks i like that they're sitting at like a really close desk and yeah like i really enjoy this cover whereas the the us one is just boring to me like the font's okay i don't mind the font but it's just two drawn characters kind of looking at each other and i'm like I just it's okay it's fine it's okay but I would definitely be more inclined to pick up the UK version because it tells me more about the story the tagline the two of them sitting at office desks and like even the scribbles I don't like the scribbles but it tells me that they're like not having the best of time so yeah I'm gonna go UK on this one I just enjoy it more I think it gives more away from the story and from first glance you can kind of see where the story is gonna go whereas the US one I feel like it just is bland I've seen so many romance books have this kind of composition on their covers and after a while it just gets boring unless it's really well done art um but yeah it's okay but the UK wins I also recently watched the movie of this and I really did enjoy it. I enjoyed Lucy Hale um, as an actress, so seeing her in this was really well done. I enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. It was, it wasn't the best thing I've ever watched, but it was highly entertaining and quite. It was quite funny actually, and I was glad they took some cues from the book in the funniness of it all. And it, yeah, it's it's a good time. It's a good time. So you should watch the film. You should read the book first. But if you don't want to you can watch the film because there's not huge amounts of differences between the film and the book it has been a while since i've read the book but i didn't see like a huge difference between the two the next book i have here is six crimson cranes and this is the uk and us so straight away i know i'm gonna pick the uk version because i enjoyed the colors of this cover oh they just make they just make me so like feel so calm and peaceful i don't know why i just the pastel palette on this cover is just done so well even having the flowers and the drawing and the like the back of the character just the only things that are black in this is like the font and the character's hair everything else is kind of pastel and I just love this colour palette. I think it's so well done. This is the one that I would be drawn to in the store. This is probably one of my favourite covers. I actually own this book, but I'm not getting it because <laughs> you have a picture right here. Um, and I just love this. I think this is beautiful. And then we have the US edition. And even though I think this edition is still beautiful, the artwork on this is really well done. I love the artwork. I love the way the character has been compromised like the one shoulder forward kind of 
close up on the face. I do like that the colours are a bit darker on the US one but if I was to see both of these in the shop I would think they were two totally different books and I would definitely gravitate more towards the pastel palette and because it, it just soothes me I like this this is m like more my aesthetic than the darker colors even though I do like the I do like the US edition and I would pick this up and I do think it's a beautiful cover I just think the UK just takes the cake on this one because you see how beautiful this cover is this is an absolutely stunning cover Next book I have here is Gallant by V.E. Schwab, UK, US. This UK cover is my favourite. I'm not going to beat about the bush. Like, I enjoy the red and grey scale of the two houses, the thorns growing on the sides. I enjoy that the red house is, like, has Gallant in black writing above it and the black house has V.E. Schwab in red. It just has, like, a, a balanced symmetry that's kind of reversed but works so well it catches the eye in a way that makes you double look whereas the US edition I don't I don't not like this but I just don't I don't get the same feeling from it as I do from the UK one the US one is a different color palette altogether and I feel like the having the gray scale instead of the black takes away from some of the eye catchingness I do enjoy the font on the US edition, the black fading into the red I think is really well done but the two houses in like this spinning circle with the hands like I understand where it was going with this but there's a lot more detail on the UK edition of the houses and that is like the main basis of the story is the Gallant estate and I like that the houses are really like defined in the U UK edition where it is in the US edition they're not as defined it's like two rotating houses and I just enjoy the colour palette more of this one enjoy the intricacy of the drawings of the houses I enjoy the kind of flipped symmetry of the font and the houses the vines surrounding the house I just prefer the UK edition. It helps that I actually own the UK edition and can see its beautiful glory anytime I want. But if I had the choice of either of these books in both editions, I would definitely go for the UK edition. So the UK edition definitely wins on this one. Also, a really good book I highly recommend. I gave it a 4.5 stars. I just read it for the Magical Readathon. I read it in a day and had so much fun. So I highly recommend this book also. Next we have Book Lovers by Emily Henry, the UK and the US edition. I think the UK edition is too busy. Like yes there's not a lot on it, there's two characters going opposite ways in small boats and the white blocked letters of book lovers. I just feel like the colour palette's too busy. Maybe if it was a gradient going from sky to sea or sea to sky and the colours made a bit more sense, I would enjoy it more. But I just feel like the over, like, I just feel like the colours are overdone. I don't understand the palette. But the US edition, I do really enjoy. Again, it has like book lovers in a really big font, but it's like they're sitting on the font and they're like passing books back and forth the two characters are turned away from each other it makes sense this colour palette the blue with the yellow and hints of orange and red just makes sense to my brain more it's not overly exciting in any any way shape or form but it just I feel like they've went opposite directions I feel like the US edition is stripped it down to a nice basic colour palette with a more intricate drawing whereas the UK one has too much colours for my enjoyment so I think I'm gonna go with the US one. It also helps that I'm a big fan of blue and teal. Teal is my favourite colour but anything from like a light blue to a medium teal is like my, my preferred colour palette so this does it for me more than the splash of too many colours on the UK one. So the US one wins for this and I will have to maybe come back and look at some of these once I have actually read the ones I haven't read and see if it changes my opinion on the cover because 
I do think if you're basing it off cover alone, then obviously you're going to have a preference. But your preference might change after you read the book and understand the cover more, maybe. The next book I have here is How to Kill Your Best Friend by Lexi Elliott. This is the UK edition. This is the US edition. I own the UK edition. And even though the UK edition isn't doing much, I I really like it. I prefer the UK edition over the US edition. I think the UK edition is an overshot of like the waves on the beach and just like really smack in your face how to kill your best friend. I don't think this title needs a intricate cover because the title pulls you in straight away. Like this is a in your face title and just having it on like the beach setting I know this takes place in like the water and I get why this is like just an overview shot and the title is like the thing that would pull you in whereas the US edition it does essentially the same thing but it has like a pulled back view of two chairs sitting in the middle of the like ocean with sand and if it was that if it was like this picture but with this lighting style I think it would be great like this font with this picture but with this color palette would be great like if you morph these in two they would do really well together but I don't like the condensation that comes and the running of the font on this one I feel like it takes away from like it being at the beach because if you were at the beach you wouldn't be looking at the beach through a condensation window not that close anyway so like it doesn't really make sense composition ways i prefer the simplicity of an overshot of the beach one person standing in the tea of the best in this like bold how to kill your best friend font i think the title pulls you in enough where you wouldn't really need to have an intricate like picture yeah i just prefer this the color palette the lighting and the picture just do it for me. I think I would definitely gravitate more towards this UK edition than the US edition. Then we have one that is very similar to each other but they do really have their differences once you get close. This is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This is the UK edition, the edition I own and the US edition. So the UK edition is like I think both editions are beautiful. I like the composition of the character, the artist on this done a beautiful job with the flowers and the face and the eyes. I really enjoy this but I feel like the UK edition has turned the saturation down on the character's face and the flowers. I wish that wasn't really done. I do prefer the US edition's like not color palette because they're the same colors but I think the brightness was like turned up on the US edition so if you take the drawing and the lighting from the US edition and put it with the House of Hollow font in the UK one it would be the perfect mix of these two books that I would really enjoy but I just the US one I get it the title is actually like the closed tags which makes total sense to the story but I feel like it doesn't catch your eye as much as the font in the UK one. I I prefer the font in the UK one and I prefer the art like lighting style in the US one. So if you put that that picture in this brightness context with the UK font then I would have a happy day. But because it's not like that and I don't get the border, the white border around this US one, I'm going to go with the UK one because they are the same drawing. It is just the, the difference of the editing behind it. But I prefer the font on this and that was the deciding factor for me. Even though the stitched like tags go really well with the story, it doesn't flow well and the border really pisses me off and I don't know why. I just... I'm gonna go UK but they're both beautiful covers but the UK just done it better on this one for me. The final book that I have here is The Trials of Morgan Crow. This is the US, this is the U- no this is the UK, this is the US. The UK one is cute, I like it. It's like a blue sky with stars and you have Morgan with her umbrella and a couple of characters behind her 
the like house they're ascending from and I just think the Nevermore is like the the title of this first book and the Trials of Morgan Crow is the like trilogy's title and I do enjoy that the Nevermore is bigger and in plain view with the crow on top. I just wish the Trials of Morgan Crow was maybe positioned somewhere else um, because I automatically drag my eyes to it even though it's smaller and not as in the lime light as Nevermore. I just draw my eyes to it more. Whereas the US one, I feel like it does what I want. Like it has the Nevermore and then like the Trials of Morgan Crow directly under it. So your eye automatically goes to the Nevermore and then reads down. Whereas the UK one, my eyes go straight to what text is beside the character. I don't know why. I do like the US one. I actually think I prefer the US one on this one because it is like, oh, it's hard though. I, I like the colour palette of the UK one. It definitely reads what the story is, middle grade, fantasy, whimsical. Whereas the US one, I think, gives it a bit more mystery. It's like a darkened sky with someone looking over the edge of this building and two people coming down. The only splash of colour is really the umbrellas and the outfits that they're wearing, which makes it stand out against this grayscale background. I do think I enjoy the US one more. I like the whimsy and the colour palette of the UK one, but I think the font and the mystery that it adds around the US one just does it justice and having the umbrellas and the characters that only pop a colour against grayscale makes it stand out a bit more. I do think if the font was a different colour um, to go with like the popping of the umbrellas it would be slightly better but yeah I think if I had to choose between the two of these I think I would probably pick them both up because I like them both and this would be a really hard decision. Same with Six Crimson Cranes. If I had to choose two books that I would choose both covers for I would buy the US edition of Six Crimson Cranes and the UK edition and I would buy the UK and US edition of Nevermore because they are both in my mind like on the same level but this is the whole point of this video so I'm gonna have to pick one and I'm gonna go with the US. I have lost count of who I picked for who so the winner will be on screen at the moment. Please feel free to play down below in the comments and let me know which covers you'd prefer of these editions of these books. Let me know if you've read any of them and that is all I have for you today. I have so much fun filming these US versus UK videos. They're so highly entertaining even to film. So if you want to see more, please stick around. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified if I take any more of these out. But that is it. So I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend, whenever the hell you're watching this. Remember to stay safe, happy and healthy and I will see you next time. Bye.